New reports coming in saying that Jennifer Garner is done being a marriage counselor to Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. That she wants to step away from the circus. Can't say I blames her. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. This just in from sources telling the Daily Mail, so take it as you will. Uh, Jennifer Garner is over it all. She's done, Ben. She's not going to be there anymore for you as a marriage counselor. She's going to be there as the mother of the kids. She's obviously going to support you with the kids stuff, but enough of this circus. Look, it seems believable to me, and it made me want to go back and figure out how did these this, this couple actually break up? What was the cause? What do we know from these two? I've gone back and pulled a bunch of uh, previous interviews that should shed some light on all of this, but first... Let's go through this latest report coming in through the Daily Mail about how she wants to step away from the circus after a painful realization. Affleck paid a visit to his ex-wife's house on Sunday. Garner is stepping back as the drama is bringing back many memories. Uh, she made a conscious decision to step back from the circus surrounding her ex-husband Ben Affleck's marriage to Jennifer Lopez, according to insiders who claim the ongoing situation has unearthed painful memories for the actress. Uh, Affleck uh, recently moved his things out, as we reported on yesterday, of the $60 million mansion that he shares with J-Lo, has been uh, pictured together in recent months with Garner uh, amid mounting speculations that his two-year marriage to J-Lo is on shaky ground. Insiders had previously revealed how Garner had been acting as a counselor to the beleaguered pair as she desperately tried to help them fix their alleged issues, but now sources claim the Electra actress has decided to remove her scythe herself entirely. Jen eventually got to a place where she was like, sorry, figure this out yourself. An insider told the Daily Mail it was beginning to become too painful for her because it was bringing back so many memories of their divorce. Uh, yeah, fair, fair. Just look at the the, the happiness there and just, uh, <laughs> I don't know. And then more recently, again, oh, there he is. And she's there again being a, a, the good person that she clearly is. Uh, I want to go back and actually break this through because uh, there were throughout the marriage, there were times when Jen felt like she was second to JLo, even though there were no communication between her and Ben for years. She was surprised at how public he became when they were united because he was always a man who wanted to be out of the spotlight when they were married. Jen opened up her home to her uh, and her life to JLo because she had moved on from the past. She cares about JLo and cares about their kids and how it will affect them all. But in the end, it's not Jen's circus, not Jen's monkeys. Uh, and uh, she is done playing marriage counselor to ex-husband and his wife. Uh, yikes, if that's true, which is me, especially to JLo. John wants uh, uh, John Miller, uh, his her rumored uh, fiance. Uh, businessman John was tired of how involved she is in trying to fix Affleck's marriage. John wants nothing more than for Ben to be okay, but it isn't his girlfriend's responsibility to play babysitter to him, an insider said. So that's an important thing to remember because a lot of people are like, are they going to get back together? Well, they're rumored to be uh, engaged. So she's off the market again, and she doesn't seem like the type that's going to just go jet off with the new to, on their, our new love to be with the old one who seemingly left. Uh, this is for Ben to figure out on his own and for his wife to handle. It isn't Jen's responsibility, and he has told her this. Uh, so there it is. It's causing strain, allegedly, in Garner's marriage. She's trying to be there. I don't know how much of this is true. Let's keep it honest. We go through and we gossip and we read this stuff. Sometimes there's a little hint of truth, but uh, it does seem like Jen's been you know, pretty classy all around, and I can't imagine she's going to completely ghost him the father of her children and it's important you go back and really look at the timeline of this because i didn't realize how close this all was Ga affleck and garner met in 2000 on the set of pearl harbor she was married to actor scott foley at the time affleck and garner then reunited in 2020 uh, 2002 on daredevil where they played love interests uh but then nothing happened apparently i mean they might have done flirtations but nothing was official uh by the way, she won most of the fights in the movie, which was pretty good predictor of what would happen down the road. My wife holding swords and beating the living S out of me. Less than a year after the premiere of Daredevil, Affleck got engaged to Jennifer Lopez. So while that was all happening, the whatever, if there was any flirtation or relationship, it was J-Lo who then Ben ended up getting uh, with. In 2003, Garner announced her separation at that point from Folly uh, and filed for divorce that year. Now, again, no, not assuming that they did anything on, on Faithful, but months later, Affleck announced that he and Lopez had decided to end their engagement after Garner ended hers. And in 2004, Affleck and Garner were dating. 
So take that timeline as you will. They're in Daredevil. They're playing love interest. There seems to be some flirtatious. Affle uh, Garner is engaged uh, and then separates. Uh, months later, Affleck's engaged. He separates immediately when Garner's available. And then in 2004, Garner and Affleck were dated. I didn't realize that he left J-Lo for Jennifer Garner. That's what's so fascinating. The couple married in 2005, welcomed their first child, and then their second child in 2009, and their third child in 2012. So they were together for a while. Fast forward to now, seemingly broke breaks up with Garner, and then get, you know, while sometime later, this was in 2015, so it was about 10 years ago, more than that, than they separated, and they were apparently not really together those last few years anyway. 10 years later, he then goes back to J-Lo, which is all just very strange. Now, why did they divorce? This is where things get even more interesting as we go back and look at some of the quotes. Uh, there was an infamous Howard Stern show interview in 2021 where Affleck revealed that he and Garner broke up because they simply grew apart. The truth was we took our time. We made a decision. We grew apart. We had a marriage that did not work. This happens. It's, it is somebody I love and respect, but to whom I should not be married any longer. And then we said, you know what? We tried. We tried because we had kids. And then we, both of us felt like we don't want this to be a model that our kids see of marriage. Affleck told Stern he and Garner would have ended up at each other's throats had they not ended things. He also believed that he would probably still be drinking if their marriage continued. That was part of why I started drinking alcohol. I was trapped. I was like, I can't leave because of my kids, but I'm not happy. What do I do? What did I, what I did was drink a bottle of scotch on the couch while, which turned out to not be the solution. Now this quote, completely backfire on him and everyone tried to spin it as if he was blaming Jennifer Garner for his alcohol, which I never took. It was very clear. If you read the full, listen to his full conversation, he was blaming himself. Uh, and he later then clarified as he later did in this article. Uh, this was a really good article. Actually, we'll come back to it, but um, this Hollywood reporter article I, I, is such good insight on Ben uh, that he wrote. This was from, if you want to go look this up, the Hollywood reporter piece on him, in why can't I get the headline? Oh, there it is. This was in March of this of this past year, March 16, 2023. Definitely one you want to look up. So in it, he reveals a lot and he responds very frustratingly to that quote that was completely taken out of context. And he credits JLo for coming out there and speaking up more. Why aren't you on Instagram? Your wife's very good at it. My wife's a genius at that. I don't know if there's anybody who understands Instagram better than her. In fact, she gave me a talk this morning before this interview. She thinks she that because of experiences that I've had, I've become very guarded. And she's right. I view these things as landmines, where if you say one wrong thing, your career might be over. I had a really painful experience where I did an interview where I was really vulnerable and the entire pickup was something that was not only not right, it was the opposite of what I meant. This is uh, the Howard Stern show you're talking about drinking towards the end of your marriage to Jennifer Garner. Affleck explains, the idea that I was blaming my wife for my drinking. To be clear, my behavior is my responsibility entirely. The point that I was trying to make was a sad one. Anyone who's been through a divorce makes that calculus of how much do we try? We loved each other. We care about each other. We have respect for each other. I was trying to say, hey, look, I was drinking too much. And the less happy you become, whether it's your job, your marriage, it's just that as your life becomes more difficult, if you're doing things to fill a hole that aren't healthy, you're going to start doing more of those things. I think I was pretty articulate about that. The New York Post deliberately mischaracterized it in order to make a clickbait and everybody else then picked it up and it didn't matter how many times I said, I do not feel this way. I'm telling you, I don't blame my ex-wife for my alcoholism. So yeah, it's hard. But anyway, J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez tells me today, relax, be yourself, have fun. You're actually a fun guy who is real and genuine and you seem so serious. Do I seem serious? But in many things, she's really right and she loves me. She's looking out for me. She's trying to help me. So it's like, maybe I ought to effing listen to her. It's a very interesting insight as he then reveals previously about J J Jennifer Garner, but also how Jennifer Lopez treats him. Uh, and, and in seemingly this was all I look at this and I remember reading this thinking, oh, look, I'm rooting for them. This is a good couple. A lot of my opinions changed when I watched The Greatest Love Story Never Told because you do get to start seeing a lot of the manipulation and gaslighting by Jennifer Lopez, which I do believe is real. Now, fast forward to what is Jennifer Garner said about Ben Affleck. This is where things get truly I got to say, pretty sad. She calls him uh, the love of her life. And this was an interview she did back in 2016, like a year after the split, where she spoke to Vanity Fair. Uh, this was right out, the, out coming out. It was a real marriage. It wasn't for the cameras. And it was a huge priority for me to stay in it. And that and that did not work. Uh, 
I didn't marry the big fat movie star. I married him. And I would go back and remake that decision. I ran down the beach to him and I would again. You can't have these three babies and so much of what we had. Uh, he's the love of my life. He's the most brilliant person in any room, the most charismatic, the most generous. He's just a complicated guy. I always say when his sun shines on you, you feel it. But when the sun is shining elsewhere, it's cold. He can cast quite a shadow. What a classy way to, to diss. Like, I was there for you. I was everything you weren't uh, when you left or when you were drunk. It was awful. Uh, the Miracles from Heaven actress just addressed rumors that they divorced because he cheated on her with the children's nanny. We had been separated for months before I'd ever heard about the nanny. She had nothing to do with our decision to divorce. She was not part of the equation. Uh, she does, at some point, I think, acknowledge bad decision, <laughs> but uh, doesn't engage and say that that was anything to do with it. Um, but, yeah, look, I got to say, she I, she's always been very classy in all this. And I don't think it's just manipulative PR tactics, which I do believe J-Lo is, is doing. Uh, Jennifer Garner's always been very quiet. She doesn't really want the limelight on this. She's, she's said what she had to say. She says it very classily and I always respect it. And I do believe this was a serious heartbreak for her. And it does seem like Ben was the one who, who was just, they were both unhappy, but Ben's the one who really made the decision and couldn't find his way and left, which makes all of this now coming back full around, uh, even more, uh, interesting because she's now still amidst all that heartbreak and love she had with the three children she had with him, uh, still there for him. It, it is uh, amazing. I, I got to credit this woman tremendously. She's not out there crapping on him. I'm sure he's done tons of terrible things, but she's not doing that. In fact, she talks about, I'll never have the dream of dancing with the father of my children at, at her wedding. Like she has all these things and sadness and, and, and with all that, not letting it go to this hate and anger and frustrations, jealousy and toxicity, and instead stepping up to help this couple in need which honestly, it's a very, very big of her. So coming all the way around, do I believe she's feeling this way? I do. If she's in a healthy relationship now, I imagine she's getting frustrated at all the press and annoying things, annoyances that are now rearing their head as this is happening. So I would, I would have no qualms with her telling them this and saying enough already. It's affecting my relationship. This circus is too much. Please, we love you guys. We wish the best for you guys, but this is no longer healthy. I'm here for the kids and I am always here for you, but we got to set some boundary lines is something to me that seems far more believable. But what do you guys think? I want to hear your thoughts down below. There's the full update for you. Uh, do you like Jennifer Garner? Do you appreciate the classiness? Hit that subscribe. Hit that bell for all alerts so you get notified when you do. Smash the thumbs up like I did. Leave a comment down below. Help us get the word out on our coverage in this channel. we got so much more coming for you. And I hope you enjoy and get ready for the 4th of July holiday here in the States. We'll have something for you tomorrow. I don't know if we'll be live, but stay tuned. We have so much more in the future. So thank you for watching.